What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, the world is a crazy place, and you really never know what's going to happen or how things that you do will affect other things. Now, months and months ago, somebody actually gave me the heads up that Bamboo Lab had an email that you could send if you're an influencer. Well, this was back in like May, and I mean, I really wasn't an influencer, but you know, whatever, let's try it anyway. So I sent him an email and, you know, really didn't expect anything. But then time went by and I kind of forgot about it. Then finally on August 11th, I got an email back. And for some reason, I have no idea why they wanted to send me this, the Bamboo Lab X1C. This thing changed everything. Now, if you watched my earlier videos, you saw that I had an Ender 3 running since, I want to say February. Every video would be running, I'd be printing stuff. It was just kind of cool background. Now, it's a great printer, but it prints really slowly in single color. It's very inconsistent. You kind of got to play with it. So I never really got the creative urge to try new stuff. Well, with the X1C from Bamboo Lab, everything changed. All of a sudden, I could fire off a prototype of something in 30 minutes what would take me two or three hours to do before. Then AWOC sent me this. When I saw this transparent case and this pattern of infill inside it, something clicked. I spent the next few months printing probably hundreds of cases over and over again, different variations, different infills, colored infills, custom infills, all of these things. Whenever one came out good, I'd you know take a video of it, throw it up on TikTok, throw it up on Instagram. Never thought anything would really come of it. Well, as my good friend Bill and I uses my Wi-Fi always says, just put it out there because you never know what'll happen. And what happened next, I never would have expected. And that brings us to the story of how I met Dead Mouse. So last Saturday, before a show at Red Rocks, Dead Mouse posted this image on Instagram. Lord Conda messaged me immediately and said, yo, you gotta reach out. Now, I barely even use Instagram. Honestly, I only set it up because Just Call Me Coco tagged me way back when, and I basically started using it then. And I was like, hey, whatever, who cares? What's the worst that could happen? So me being the most awkward human being possibly in the entire world came back with this. I got you if you really want to do some cool stuff with Flipper Zero. That's what I do. Look up Flipper Zero on YouTube and you'll find me. I was immediately like, <laughs> that's super cringe, but you know, whatever, who cares? No one's going to see it. What's going to happen? He replied. He said, yeah, actually you come highly recommended. What? Then he DM'd me. But yeah, he's actually a super cool guy. We actually chatted for a little while, talked about IRC and, you know, stuff like that. Turns out he had seen some of the videos of the cases that I've made, and he wanted to know if I could make one for him. So I got to work to try to make the coolest case that nobody's seen before just for Dead Mouse. In the meantime, I sent him the link to the starter video that I made last week. I mean, it seemed like great timing. He just got a new flipper, and I just made the newest updated version of the starter guide. He even came back at me and said, don't be a skid. So we watched another one of my videos. I wonder which one. What was also really funny was that he actually gave me shit for not having a T and talking Sasquatch. Obviously, the irony was not lost on him. So he actually gave me the first hand account of the origin of the dead mouse name. Now, I'm sure we've all heard the story about him finding a dead mouse while changing a graphics card. Where the five comes in is that he was on the EFNet IRC channel, which was on 2600 network, which didn't have enough characters for the entire Dead Mouse word. Anyway, I digress. Let me show you what I came up with for Dead Mouse's cases. Now, I made so many iterations on these. I printed like seven or eight of them, and I'll show you. But I finally came up with something I'm super happy with, and then I made another because that's what I do. But first, let's do a quick shout out to today's sponsor. PCB way. Look, not everybody has easy access to a 3D printer, but that's totally okay because PCB way has got you covered. They can print your project in a wide variety of materials. They also provide CNC and injection molding. And we can't forget about how many different PCB possibilities they can create for you as well. Whether you want to assemble your own PCBs or have PCB way do it for you, they've got you covered. Follow the link down below to get yourself an instant quote. As always, thank you so much PCB Wave for the continued support. Let's get back at it. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Slicer, and you can see I've got a couple of them because I print more than one at a time just in case it's a printing issue. I can pick the nicest one. And let's flip over to the bottom. You'll notice you can't even see it right now, but when I slice it, you can see exactly what I came up with. 
Now, he had asked at one point when we were chatting if I could write neat on it instead of dead mouse to make it less stealable. So, of course, I did that. We're featuring a cool little Nyan cat right there. If I had another AMS or more filament, I might have gone a little bit more crazy with this. But for what I have right now, this actually came out great. I found Dead Mouse's actual font and made the little logo down here with a cool drop shadow and then used some custom fonts for the boot and reset buttons. And here we have the bottom. If we flip this over right here, I added, there we go, the Dead Mouse himself with the fist bump in the finger. If we go ahead and slice this, we can see, like I like to do, we've got a, whoop, where are we at here? And do, do, get there. And we've got our cool black spiral. So this is going to come out when it prints super freaking cool. And yeah, send it over the printer and let me show you how it came out because these are sick. Now, I had mentioned before that I printed a ton of these. So let me show you the ones that I still have to show you exactly my process. So this is the first one I made. So it's got all black for the Nyan Cat. And then I have this color shift purple that I did dead mouse in. One of the problems is it kind of doesn't have great separation. It's kind of just dark. So I'm like, all right, I can do better. So that brings us to this guy right here. I decided to go with white and then use that little color shift purple black as a drop shadow. A Little better, but again, kind of hard to read. The drop shadow is not that dramatic. So again, we could do better. It was at this time that I realized that when Dead Mouse was in chat, he actually had asked me if I could do one that said neat instead of Dead Mouse because he said it would be less stealable, which I thought was funny. Um, so yeah, we changed it over to neat. We still got the same drop shadow. It's not super dramatic, but it's there. And then I made a couple of the sprinkles that same color shift color. Pretty good, almost there, but not quite. So that brings us here. So now we have nice white lettering the nice drop shadow which is a bit more dramatic it's a little funky got some 3d vibe to it all of the sprinkles now are the color shift purple or, or purple and black lettering looks good everything came out great super happy with this one so this is our final result on this guy and then here's the back i actually had to make this all manually to make the stls for that so basically this is just an outline from a uh, basically a photo I got from one of the shows, cut the eyes out, made them their own objects, got them all colored. And this thing is so sick. I'm super psyched about how this came out. Well, last night I got to thinking, he actually reached out for me to make one of the Marauder cases like I made. And I mean, obviously I was like, oh, let's make something custom. But what if he just wanted one of mine with his name on it? So I went back at it and I made another one. Now, I kept the custom lettering for the boot and reset buttons that isn't on mine, but yeah, added a nice white Marauder skull, the same neat with the white lettering and the color shift background. And then on the back here, I just did a really cool, this is just lightning infill, but I think it's a really cool look for it. So yeah, I'm really psyched about how all these cases came out. Dead Mouse was actually asking me, oh, how do I pay you for these? But quite honestly, I've been looking for a reason to make something special. So. Thanks for the opportunity, quite honestly. Thank you guys for kind of a story time video today. Less of a tutorial like I normally do, but you know, it's been such a crazy week. I really wanted to bring you guys along in this whole adventure. What do you guys think of this style of video? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Love it, hate it, either way. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. But man, you guys are absolutely the best. We'll catch you next time.